We like to learn about something that has some Iowa ties to it here. And with that, we head over to the eastern portion of the state of Iowa. We say good morning to the one and only Professor Jeff Stein. Hello, Professor. Good morning. Good morning to you both. How goes? Oh, great around here. We're, We're better here. now that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the ray of sunshine that we have is known as Jeff Stein. Wow, it's a low bar for sunshine on CWI. Oh, no. All right, so we're talking about something that has some Iowa roots to it here today. What are we talking about? Well, this is a story that very much has Iowa ties. You know, over the last few years, you've heard a lot about the 1976 Olympic gold medalist in the decathlon, but you've heard about that person for reasons other than sports. But while training and attending what was then called Graceland College in Lamoni, he was known as Bruce Jenner. Jenner actually attended Graceland on a football scholarship but had to stop playing due to a knee injury. But Graceland's track coach L.D. Weldon saw his athletic potential and Jenner began training for the decathlon. In fact, he made his debut in that event in the Drake Relays in 1970 finishing fifth in that first meet ever as a competitor. He later qualified for the 1972 U.S. Olympic team in the event. He was a participant in the games at Munich and finished 10th. Then after graduating from Graceland in 1973, Bruce Jenner continued his training, selling insurance at night to make ends meet, all the while aiming his sights at Montreal in 1976. The decathlon has 10 events, of course. The final one is a race around the track. He finished second in that race, but that was still good enough to win. And ABC's Keith Jackson called that final event. There was no O'Nelly dropped in there, uh, as there could have been. But instead, he said, Bruce Jenner has kicked the world record in the decathlon sideways. And he did. Jenner racked up 8,616 points in the 1976 games. That smashed the world record he had set at the U.S. Olympic trials by nearly 100 points. The iconic image of Jenner carrying a small American flag during that victory lap is etched in many of our memories. And in fact, that started a tradition that is now common among winning athletes carrying a flag of their country around the track. Bruce Jenner became just the second person to be pictured on the front of a Wheaties cereal box. And today's generation may know Jenner more for reality TV shows and publicly discussing gender identification, but it was Graceland alum Bruce Jenner who won Olympic gold and the title of world's greatest athlete and it happened in Montreal on this date in 1976. Yeah, when you think of Bruce Jenner. I didn't Jenner, know he got the Iowa tie there. Yeah, the Graceland College yeah, tie. I actually I did I, I forgot that. about that, but I, I think you're right. The, the American flag in the hand, that is iconic. You know, people have been doing that ever since. And then the, on the box of Wheaties, I remember being on the box of Wheaties too, because we had that at home. Mm -hmm. How about that? Well, that's. Well, and, it's the, and, the, and what you'll notice is he won the event. And there's the great image on the cover of Sports Illustrated where he had his arms extended and just kind of let out a yell. And he regretted that pose later because he wanted to do something appropriate and he thought, oh no, I've blown my moment because in the moment he just did what he did. But then when he saw the photo later, he felt much better about it because it truly showed the exhaustion, but also the jubilation of winning. And yes, yeah, someone handed him the little American flag and the rest is history. And again, Graceland College, first time he ever ran was on the Blue Oval at Drake. How about wow, that? Very cool. Love these ties yeah. to, to the state of mm -hmm. Iowa. Now people want to go back and they want to get all the, the details again, get their stats right. How can they do so? IowaAlmanac.com, Lou, all the information is there. You can also follow us on the Twitter machine to get a sneak preview of what we talk about. That's at Iowa Almanac. Yeah, that, that came in very handy, by the way, uh, just making sure we had the names and the dates correct uh, on Iowa mm -hmm. Almanac last Wednesday because we were talking about the, um, uh, the carousel. Uh, Jackie yeah. and I were talking about that while we were at the Blank Park Zoo. And we said, let's make sure we get the year right because people saw the program. And so we just pulled up the Iowa Almanac uh, app and boom, there it was. So we had the stats right at our fingertips. 
Look at that. Modern technology and history blending so you can settle bets. That's, That's tremendous. Right. Hey, it was worth a Coke, so what can you say? <laughs> All right, well done. As always, very interesting, uh, Mr. Stein. Good job. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning, buddy. I'll be here. Thanks. Okay.